you hear that, and you have a low oil pressure light on, that's not good. When the top of your engine is not getting the proper oil pressure, the lifters are unable to pump up, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap, and that's what's gonna give you that tapping noise while the engine is running. One of the common reasons why you wouldn't have oil pressure is a faulty oil pump. Now we're gonna go over some checks so you can determine whether you need an oil pump, and if you need any parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. The first thing you wanna do is check the oil level and the condition of the oil. So grab the dipstick. Wipe it off, that way you can look and see what kind of condition it is, see what it looks like. That looks good. Then reinsert the dipstick, pull it out and check the level. So our oil level is good and the condition looks clean. So we need to figure out why the oil pressure isn't getting to the top of the motor. Now you have an oil pressure sensor somewhere in the vehicle. The best thing to do would be to take that sensor out and use a gauge and see if the oil pressure is there while the engine's running. If you don't have any pressure or it's very low at that gauge, then there's obviously a problem with the pump getting the pressure to the top of the engine. Now there is the oil filter in between that, so you want to check out the oil filter, see if there's something going on there. That could be plugged up causing an issue. Another thing you want to look at is the oil pickup screen. It could be plugged up, there could be sludge on the bottom of the oil pan causing no oil to get into the oil pump itself and that's going to give you an issue there. As long as all those things check out, you're going to be looking towards the oil pump. To get to the oil pump, you're going to have to drain the oil drop the oil pan. In some vehicles, you're gonna to need to take the front timing cover off just so that you can remove the pump or get access to it. Now that we have the pump out, let's take this apart and show you how it works. cover off. Now how this works is the crankshaft goes through the center here so while the engine spins it's going to spin this gear right here and you have the pickup tube is going to go from here into the oil pan. So that's where it's going to pick up the oil. The oil is going to come up here. And it's going to suck the oil in through here as it spins. When it gets to here, then it's going to start pressurizing it. And then it's going to send it out and send it out there, out that hole. And then you also have a pressure regulator. So then if the oil pressure ends up being too high, it's gonna relieve some pressure. It's gonna push on this where there's a spring right there. And it's gonna relieve the pressure right there. So when your oil pump goes bad, there is gonna be a sealing problem between the plate and this gear right here. It's not gonna seal properly and then that's gonna cause a lack of pressure. Over time when this gear fails, it's not necessarily that the gear will break, it is more that the machine surface will wear down and cause a lack of pressure because it's not sealing properly up against this plate or against the inside of the pump assembly. Another way this pump could fail is the spring on the pressure relief valve or even not sealing properly where the valve is. Um, that's going to cause not enough oil pressure to get sent out to the rest of the engine and it's just going to be bleeding off. To prevent oil pump failure, you want to make sure you keep up on your oil changes. And you don't want to put off doing an oil pump or you know that lifter noise that you heard in the beginning? You're going to end up with a low end knocking noise. And you don't want that noise because that means you're going to need an engine. So replace those parts, get those at 1AAuto.com. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. So we know our oil level's good, which isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want that because that means, <laughs> and you don't want that because that, 
and that's going to cause a lack in pressure. I keep saying lack of pressure. Can you make it work? 